Hey, hey developers, today we're going to look at View Prototype. We're also going to look at Axios, and we're going to take a look at different libraries and when you should use them and when you shouldn't. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. Oh yeah, and if you're new to this channel, my name is Eric. I am a software developer. I'm the author of the Vue.js in Action book. And before we get too far, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Let me tell you guys about this amazing team management tool, Monday.com. Now, Monday.com is perfect for any size team. Doesn't matter if you have two freelancers working together or thousands of collaborators across the globe. It's perfect for any of those scenarios. It's also great for development teams and non-development teams. So you can have your HR production. They can all use this tool to keep track of everything they need to do in their everyday work. It's very intuitive. You can connect people to processes. It's colorful and very beautiful. It's really simple, but not simplistic. So I would recommend you guys check out monday.com. Make sure you click on that link in the description below and you can get a 14 day free trial. Make sure you check out monday.com. All right, so I have my app open here. I went ahead and just created a new app using Vue CLI 3. Here's my Visual Studio code. You see down here, I have my shell open. So I just did view, create, and then the name of the app. I'm not going to do that again, but this is basically how you do it after you install Vue CLI. If you're not familiar how to install Vue CLI, I would check some of my previous videos. So after you have Vue CLI installed, I went ahead and created this app. And what I want to show you is how to use Vue Prototype. And one thing I want to show you guys real quickly is this article. It's called Let's Talk About an Unnecessarily But Popular Vue Plugin. And in this article, they mention that Vue Axios Although a very cool plugin, you can actually do a lot of it without using this plugin. So I kind of tend to agree with this. Whenever you use plugins inside your app, you should always take a few minutes to check to see, do you really need to use it? Look at how many stars it has on GitHub. Can look at how many issues it has opened. It's always a good idea to do that before you add it to your app. So in this case, um, you can actually use Vue Prototype to add in Vue Axios, or Axios that is. So. I'm going to show you guys a quick app here. So here's this Welcome to our Vue.js app. This is basically what you get out of the box. But instead of here doing this, I'm just going to create a joke app. So I'm going to call it Joke App at the top here. And I'm just going to delete out some of the stuff we don't need. And I'm going to have it just have something called jo Show Joke here. And I'm just editing the Hello World view. I don't have anything special about this. It just says Show joke show joke app and it has a button that doesn't do anything so let's make it do something so first is I actually already installed Axios to install Axios I did npm install Axios and then dash dash save so it saves into my actually in the newer versions you don't need to do that you just do npm install Axios and it'll go ahead and it'll install in my package.json they will save in there and what I want to do is every time they click on this button, I want it to show a new joke. So since I'm just normally using Axios here, the easiest way to do that is let's create a, uh, let's just click, create a click handler here. So we'll do a click event. We'll use the, the at sign for the VON directive and we'll just do uh, show joke. And then inside here, I'm gonna add my methods Inside my methods, I'll have my show joke, which I did have it camel cased. And then just to make sure it works, I'm gonna do a quick alert. I'm gonna save it. It's gonna reload here. And you can see here it's working as expected. I see the hello world at the top. So instead of doing that, we actually wanna do our Axios call. So I'm gonna make this an async function and then I'm going to connect to a joke server. So I already have one in mind. There's actually one called I can has dad joke, which should work pretty cool. So I'm going to do, I'm going to first add a config. And then in here, I'm going to put in accept header. And I'm going to put in application JSON. And then I'm going to do const joke. And that's going to, I'm going to wait this. So I'm going to do, I already put this import Axios from Axios to the top. So I can just get it this way uh, and I also created this joke right here so I can set it to it but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and I'm going to do axios.git I'm going to put in my server I can has 
dadjoke.com. And then I'm going to pass in my config. I'm going to put this.joke equals j.data.joke. So that's basically going to get what I want. And then I'm going to display it at the top here, and where it says joke. All right, so now I'm going to reload it. And if I hit the show joke, nothing happens. So I'll look inside my console here. I'll see that J is not defined. So I'll make sure I don't have a bug here. So I want joke right here. Refresh it. Okay, cool. Now every time we click on it, we see a new joke. What do you call a droid that takes the long way around? R2 detour. Ha ha ha. Hit it again, it gets another one. An apple a day keeps the bullies away if you throw it hard enough. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> so you can see here, not very funny jokes, but it works as we expect it, which is cool. But let's say we wanted to, instead of having to import this in, because what we're going to have to do is every single component, we're going to have to import this in, and that's kind of a pain. But what happens if we wanted to have it globally? And oh, there's also some cool stuff we can do with Axios. If you look at the Axios library, if I just Google it here, I can set my own, um, I can do, of course, the normal git post requests, but I believe I can also do some cool stuff with the API. I can do some create, I can make some instant methods. I can even, I think I can even uh, set some defaults in here. So some of these things I could obviously do inside the uh, view header, or actually I can do once, uh, I can create interceptors too, which is pretty cool. So what I wanna do is instead of having to do that in every single component, maybe I can do it in one place. So one way you could do it is to install that view Axios library, but once if we didn't wanna do that, we can go into the main file here, and then we can go ahead and add in the, uh, the prototype. So to add in the prototype, uh, it's right here. So we do view dot prototype dot uh, dollar sign HTTP. So just dollar, we use dollar sign just as a convention, but you can put anything in here and then have it equal Axios. And then we import Axios at the top. Great, now since we have this in here, I can save it. And if I go back to my hello world, instead of importing Axios in this way, Instead of doing axios.git, I can do this.http, and now this will work. So if I save it, you can see here I have the server running, by the way. I go back, I reload it. You can still see it still works as we expected. I just got fire from the floor, so apparently I took too many leaves. Huh. So this is kind of a nice way of, of sharing globals um, something globally in your app so you don't have to import it into every single component. Another thing you can kind of think of, like I said, if I wanted to do here, I could add an interceptor in here. I can use, I can add all sorts of helpful things. That way I don't have to do it everywhere I have the component. Now, Vue Axios does have a few things that you may be interested in. So if I look at the NPM, uh, the GitHub, which I think is right here, you can see it gives you a few options. Once you add this view.use, you can actually use it a bunch of ways. You can use it with viewaxios.git, this.axios.git, or this.htp git. So it does give you a few ways to do it inside your components. Yeah, I think you can also set some defaults in here too. But really, there's no reason to use it. I would just set it to the prototype at the beginning of your app and be good to go. If you guys use it any different way, you know, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what ways you use uh, the prototype and with Axios, if there's a different way you can use it. Um, you can also just add, I don't know, if you wanted to, you can just add in, uh, it's like some text here. If you wanted to share this throughout the system, uh, throughout the app that is. So if I do dollar sign text, I can just do console log dollar sign text. If I save it and then I look in my console and I hit it, you can see some text is there too. So I hope you guys like this quick tip. View.prototype shouldn't be abused. You shouldn't use it for everything in your app, but if you just need to you know, share a library between a lot of things or share something really important, it's a good way to do it. You don't have to set up 
view X or try to use the Windows object. You don't want to do that. This is just a real quick way of uh, sharing information. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear it. And thanks for watching. Bye.